What happens when our two hands play completely different chords? Let's say we play a dominant seventh chord in the left hand and a diminished chord in the right hand that is one half tone higher. Logically, you would think we are going to get something very ugly, but it turns out that this is a perfect way to play a flat nine chord. Once you learn how to do this in one place, you can do it in 11 other places. Each different place will look and feel different, but it will sound exactly the same other than being a bit higher or lower. You want to try this with each chord I show you. Here is how Beethoven handled a flat nine chord in his Heroica Symphony. Now, let's play a dominant seventh chord in the left hand and a minor chord in the right hand in the same key. Believe it or not, this produces a sharp nine chord. Let me play this again with a D sharp nine chord with open voicing. This is exactly the same chord that Blood, Sweat, and Tears use at the beginning of Spinning Wheels. When we play a dominant seven chord in the left hand and play another dominant seven chord one tone higher in the right hand, I think logically it seems like the result should be something very ugly. What do you hear? It turns out that putting these two different chords together produces a 13 chord with a sharp 11, and the result is a very interesting final chord in jazz. I have struggled to find a name for chords like these. We can call them polychords, since they seem to be a combination of two completely different chords. I like calling them bipolar chords because it is sort of like hearing two moods at the same time. Many of them use jazz extensions. I would love to hear from you and other people how you personally tag these chords in your own minds. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave me comments about anything you like, anything you'd like to see in the future, and remember that I consider all suggestions.